Lord Alan Sugar, businessman. Shut up. Taskmaster. Was you ducking it, son? Was you hiding? Self-made millionaire. You're fired. But when not being chauffeured around to high-powered meetings, Lord Sugar likes to relax far above the fray. Flying has been his passion for a long time. I've always had a fascination as a kid for aeroplanes. These days, this Biggles of the boardroom flies a top-of-the-range Cirrus. It's got more kit in this aeroplane than some of the 747s that are flying around today. Today, however, he's swapping all the latest technology to take control of the plane that saved Britain, the Spitfire. It's the greatest aeroplane in the world. It's the greatest aeroplane ever been built. Every aviation fanatic would love to be in my shoes today, just to get in that Spitfire. For a boy who grew up in the shadow of the Blitz, it's been a dream since childhood. All young boys in my school used to talk about aviation and Spitfires and being a, a fighter pilot and the RAF and all that stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like flying one of those things and try and put myself in a position of uh, where those uh, very brave pilots were uh, in the Battle of Britain. Before getting to handle a Spitfire, the master must become the apprentice under the watchful eye of veteran pilot Dave McKay. How are you? How are you? Good, fine, fine. Take a seat. Okay. Spitfire, what a great aeroplane. You're going to love it. But before we get to the Spitfire, we're going to start off with the Harvard, okay. um, which of course is the, is the trainer that they used during the Second World War yeah. time to bring the pilots on from they the Tiger Moth basic training onto over, this and then yeah. onto the Spitfire. Mm. Once we're level at 3,000 feet, we'll go through just the basic exercises as an introduction yeah, to the Yeah, it'll be interesting to get yeah. the feel of the aircraft myself. A yeah. Absolutely. And give you a chance to practice coordinating your, your feet with the use of the ailerons. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Flying the smaller Harvard will give Lord Sugar the chance to get to grips with manual controls rather than the fully automatic system he is used to. First though, Lord Sugar must get prepared for any eventuality. That's my sixth bag. So if you stick it down there and remember where it goes. Okay. And he's good to go. Very good. And with that, it's chocks away. And there we are, we're off. Finally, Lord Sugar takes over the controls. You see people in house out there at two o'clock, so we're going to fly around the back of the house. Just a little bit nose up to stop that descent. And once again, keep your hands and feet lightly on the controls so you can feel what I'm doing. I've got it. Okay, I have control again. It's been a successful dummy run in the Harvard, with Lord Sugar proving himself more than capable. And we're down. Let's bring it on. Let's do the Spitfire next. I hope it's uh, as easy as to fly as, as, as that aircraft. It was uh, um, surprisingly easy to manoeuvre. But the Spitfire is a very different beast. They're bigger, faster and much harder to fly. And now it's finally time for Lord Sugar to lay his eyes on the plane of his dreams. Today, Lord Alan Sugar has become the apprentice, training to fly the RAF's most iconic plane, the Spitfire. It's something he's wanted to do since his childhood in the blitz-ravaged east end of London. Now he has the chance to make his dream a reality. So this is very unusual that we've got a two-cockpit uh, Spitfire, obviously, uh, of the 20,000 airplanes that were produced during the war. 
How many of them were twin cockpit ones? There, there, were, there were no twin cockpit ones during the wartime, so the young fighter pilots just went straight into the single seat air off the training airplane. Really? They would study the book, they would get a briefing, and they would get in the airplane and fly Get it. out and go and fight. Took, took a lot of courage. One of the horrible statistics is, is that uh, during the war, the um, life expectancy of one of those young pilots was no more than four weeks, was it? Very short, very short during the Battle of Britain, yeah. Showed you they devoted themselves, didn't they, to the country? Amazing what those uh, young men did. His co-pilot for the flight is instructor Dave McKay, who will take charge of the takeoff before handing over the controls to the unflappable Lord Sugar. And if this Iceman has any nerves, he's certainly not showing them. Well, I've completed all the training. I'm ready to go now. Um, you know, it's, sometimes you get too much training, too much warnings, and all that type of stuff. Let's get on with it. Now it's time to go fly the airplane. It's noon as Lord Sugar and his instructor taxi down the same runway where over 70 years ago young Spitfire pilots took off to face the might of the Luftwaffe. Their flight culminated on the 15th of September 1940 when they finally put paid to German plans for an invasion of Britain. It has become known as the Battle of Britain Day. Finally, Lord Sugar realises his boyhood dream of flying a Spitfire. Quite nice under the clouds, but good visibility is uh, high wind bombing along at you know, 20 miles an hour. Can we make a left turn, please, down towards the island there? Yep, that's it. Every single pilot, doesn't matter whether you're English or American, would love to be in my shoes today. Yeah, look at the water down there, that's pretty wild, isn't it? Yeah. It's not a lot of day to be out in the boat, that's the thing. It doesn't quite blow up the end. No, no, it doesn't. This is what we all look up to and aspire to. It's the greatest aeroplane in the world. It's the greatest aeroplane ever been built. Okay, we're done. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it was safe. Yeah. <laughs> I can really see how this aeroplane deserves the reputation that it's got. A little bit twitchy, very, very fast, very, very fast indeed. And you wonder how those 18-year-olds and 20-year-olds uh, just stepped into one of those and just flew off in all kinds of weather. Nighttime, in cloud, quite amazing really when you think about it. 